It's 10 o'clock and I've overslept, which means that I've missed the first church service. But no worries, because there's another two to go. But if I don't get my skates on, I'm going to be late for Bible class. But first, I better go and grab a quick douche. Because after all, cleanliness is next to godliness. Book of Revelation, chapter 12, to verse 10. When see the Auferstehung fire. And they say, through the resurrection, everything belongs to Christ now. He said the kingdom is... Is there any other relevant passages? You know, I, I, I haven't really read the Bible to any extent. Mm. John's Gospel is usually a good one to start with. Right. It shows you all the people in there. And he goes on to the crucifixion in the end. And why did it, the crucifixion for us? Why Christ died for us? Yeah. How, how many languages are there here? Oh, people. Well, around this large group, the small groups of other nationalities, you've got a lot of Germans in the middle, uh -huh. and some Polish and Yugoslavians. And I think there's two Chinese over there. Right. There are monks here, there is, there is a monastery of brothers. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, you can still come here and, um, and meet girls, yeah? And it's not a, a complete cut off. Oh, no, you can certainly meet a bunch of girls. I met a few girls who are friends and that don't fuck with a lot of them. Right. And we've got, yeah, it's been quite enjoyable doing that and meeting plenty of girls. Have you met anyone that you've got closer to down here? Um, well, I've not got a girlfriend or anything like that, but I made a friend from Birmingham and a girl called Nikki from Peterborough. Right. And it is a nurse for working in Wapping. Right. One of the best things is you don't need to drink. The atmosphere is something that will make you drunk without actually, not even drunk, but make you happy without actually yeah. drinking. And you can go to the bar and you don't have loads of lecherous men breathing <laughs> alcohol down your neck. Yeah. It's good because everybody else knows that you're not drunk. So if you're sort of ha happy and you're acting really stupidly, people don't immediately blame it on alcohol. <laughs> spend a week in silence. Now I gave it a try, but I couldn't handle it. But I've just met someone who's just come out of it. You know, my, my first day in silence, you know, I was uh, worried and frightened because, you know, I like talking, you know, and that's why I, I'm, I, I'm thinking, can I be silent in the whole week? You know? And uh, there's many friends here say it's impossible for you because uh, you, you're always talking, you like talking, and I always play the guitar every night, you know, with them. So it is impossible for you. But uh, after um, the first day, the second day, then suddenly I like it, you know. Now you're a Catholic. Yeah, I'm Catholic. So that means that you must take the vows of, of uh, celibacy and give up your, your worldly yeah. goods. Yes. Uh, have you not got a girlfriend back home? Yeah, I have it. You have a girlfriend? Yeah. Well, but what is going to happen to her? Yeah, I think... Do you love her? Yeah, I love her. But I think she could understand about my... My, my decision, I think, you know, but I don't know what.
my friends go to church, they tend to think that church is full of old people. And back home it usually is, but if they came somewhere like Taze, they'd understand that it's not really like that. Time for church. Well, I must admit that when I first got here, I thought, what a bunch of wet Christians. But I wouldn't be being honest with myself if I didn't say that I hadn't been affected by the spirit of this place. I'm not a religious person, but if I was, I think I'd like to be part of a setup like this. But for now, I could murder a pint. It is also necessary to ensure that the Home Office is aware and alert to the rapid growth in the United Kingdom of black witchcraft and Satanism. The fear of the devil is being put into children's minds and this is evil. This black magic influence is so strong and dangerous that the power and command over adults and children is total. There are other disturbing reports recently of the desecration of hundred-year-old tombs. Bodies have been removed Heads cut off and fingers sliced away. I am actually the high priest of the Temple of Set, which worships Set, the uh, ancient god of Egypt, who was later um, uh, caricatured into the Judeo-Christian Satan. perform rituals, what exactly do you wear? We normally wear black robes with hoods and uh, the pentagram of Set medallion that you see here. We may wear specialized accoutrements depending upon the style of ritual that we are using. If it's old Germanic, it may be appropriate costume there. If it is uh, American Indian or Mayan or some other background or Egyptian, we would wear appropriate costumes there. We are a religion of practicing magicians, and each and every individual in a ritual is directly involved with it. Many people may come to us with a very distorted idea of what Satanism or what they believe to be devil worship is. If they come to us seeking uh, simply a glorified sex club, or uh, some sort of a lawless organization, then they'll be disappointed because we aren't that. Except if you look at his hieroglyphic representations in the British Museum, it looks rather like a, a, a tall, thin anteater with a forked tail. And I'm sorry to say that uh, he didn't appear to me visually that way. It was an understanding, uh, a sense of intellectual realization that I felt. So in a ritual like this, the summoning of the Prince of Darkness uh, was more of an appeal to a very good friend. Is it possible for you as a Satanist to curse somebody? Well, I think so. I would, uh, I would say that it is really possible for, for any individual to set in motion the kinds of things that uh, the public would understand as a curse. So you could curse somebody? Yes. What would lead you to do that? Very little nowadays. Uh, in the earliest ages, days of the Church of Satan, when uh, you were given very simplistic and very easy uh, ways to pronounce a curse. I suppose everybody wanted to experiment with it a little bit. Have you ever cursed anybody? I have really felt uh, no need to, I would say, uh, because events seem to adjust themselves to my satisfaction without my having to resort to that.
Would you categorically describe yourself as a Satanist? Yes, I would. Would you categorically describe yourself as a good man? Yes, I would. Aren't most people going to find it impossible justifying those two statements? Perhaps to begin with, but as they come to understand more about Satanism from Satanists, not from people who attack it or who are superstitious concerning it, then I think they will find those two qualities very easily to reconcile. This black magic influence is so strong and dangerous that the power and command over adults and children is total. 